Hello and welcome to Warhammer Joey's mini magical series and this is for the guy who always asks for Law of the Great Moor every week, every time I do a little video. There's a Great Moor. Here it is. This is, this is it right now. Um, the Ogre Kingdoms is Law of the Great Moor. It's exclusive to them and it's used by butchers. So because of that, I bought me some bag of guts and uh, a blender and those are my tools for this video. Hope you like it. Law of the Great Moor. The Law of the Great Moor attribute is Blood Gruel, and it means after you successfully cast a spell on a 2 plus, you can recover one wound on your butcher, um, and you plus one to your uh, the next cast that you do. If you do roll a one, you get a strength six hit, and that's okay. I mean, a one in six to get some possible damage, but you have to imagine that. The butcher's going to be in combat a lot more than any average wizard. It's a lot more durable as well, so it is kind of worth it. Okay, I'm doing something a little bit different in this video. I love the fluff, it's hilarious. So uh, I'm going to give you a visual representation of, um, of each spell. So, Blood Gruel says, The law of the Great Moor has many recipes for disaster, and butchers often chew flesh, suck marrow, or stuff some raw gobbit into their mouths to aid their casting and replenish their own vitality. So I've got me some um, blood juice. It's nice. Mmm. Refreshing. And that's going into my blender. Let's get this out. Oh, I'm gonna get quite a concoction in here. Right, back on we go. Next spell. The signature spell is Spine Marrow. It's a cast on 6 plus with a range of 12 inches and it allows you to give the target the Stubborn Rule. You can increase that to on a 9 plus with a range of 24. And it's pretty good because from what I know of Ogres, they don't have many ranks, they're quite expensive. So it allows you to make them a bit more stubborn in combat to stay where they are and less likely to flee. Pretty good. The butcher holds up a gory spinal column and sucks out the blood and marrow to empower his companions. Where's my spinal column? Mmm. Mmm. Next. The first spell is Bone Crusher. It's a cast on 8 plus with a range of 18 inches. It's a 2d6 strength 2 hit. Meh. But it does mean that you get um, the no armor saves allowed. So, you know, if you're against something with really low toughness, great. It kind of makes up for it. But it is circumstantial. So it's not great, but it can definitely help you. Shoveling a hand full of ribs, skulls, femurs into his mouth. The butcher crunches them up, even while he curses his foes. He immediately find, finds their own bones breaking with loud snaps. Ah. Right. Blood Gorger is the second spell. It's a cast on 7 plus and it's an augment that allows the target to get plus one strength. The upgrade is on a 14 plus. All units or targets within 12 inches plus one strength. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, helpful. Greedily devouring the heart of a bull, Rhinox or Mournfang, the butcher can project the raw vitality imbued by such a worthy sacrifice to the Great Moor. Give me some hearts. This is an actual to scale Mournfang heart. I dissected it this morning. Mm. Mm. And it goes. Toothcracker is a cast on 8 plus. It's an augment range of 12 inches, very similar to the spell before, but plus one toughness. If you increase the range, all units plus one toughness. Now, ogres are pretty strong and tough, which is why it's only a plus one. But this can increase if you put these two together to a really strong, hard to kill unit. So, 
great to use together. By consuming a hunk of tooth-breaking granite, the butcher bestows the rock's resilience and the sturdiness of the mountains themselves to its brethren. Teeth it is. Next, Brain Gobbler is a hex, it's a cast on 9 plus with a range of 18 inches and it means that the target unit gets panic, so they have to get a panic test and uh, with any luck they're near the edge of the table and they can run right off of it. So um, that's pretty good, although it's not able to cast on anything that's immune to psychology, like my dryer. Selecting a severed head attached to one of the meat hooks secured about his person, the butcher chumps through the skull and gobbles up the grey dainty, dainty within, projecting his victim's worst nightmares into the minds of his enemies. Now, I know this is a strawberry, but I'm going to bite the head off and then put both in. Okay? This is a brain. There we go. And I'm going to eat one. Because I want to. Troll Guts is an augment. It's a cast on 12 plus with a range of 12. And it gives the target the regeneration special rule, which it doesn't specify anything, so I believe that's a 4 plus ward save. Now they're hard to kill anyway. Very hard. I should know. I tried. And, um,. Yeah, this makes them really hard to kill, even more so. I mean, you've got the armor plus the ward save. So, you know, if you really want to boost the crap out of your unit, it's a great one to go for. Downing the toxic and utterly repulsive innards of a troll isn't easy. But by doing so, a butcher can magically transfer the beast's supernatural healing ability onto himself or nearby companions. The ogre's wounds seem to stitch themselves together before the eyes of their dumbfounded enemies. I'm really dreading this, I can't even tell you. If you've ever had these, you will know. Toxic. Oh no, I have to put one in as well. I cannot even describe. The Maw is the final spell. It's a cast on 15 plus and if you're successful in casting it, it allows you to place a small template anywhere within 18 inches. If you upgrade this to a 21 plus, it's the larger template. So once you've done this, you roll an artillery dice and a scatter dice and then move it accordingly unless it's a hit and you stay where you are. If you misfire though, your opponent gets to pick, that, pick up the template and move it anywhere on the table they do have to roll as well so obviously they might move to the left or they might get hit once your final positioning is determined everything underneath the template has to take an initiative test now unlike any other spell even if you pass it you still take damage you only take strength three hits but if you fail that test you get strength seven hits multiple wound special rule d6 so it's really horrendous, really horrendous, even worse if it misfires and it happens to you. But this is disgraceful because, I mean, either way you're looking at damage being taken and it could effectively take out something with six wounds, such as my tree man. So this is unbelievable, but fairly risky as well. By consuming a large beast, the butcher can summon the power of the Great Maw, causing the ground to split open beneath an enemy, revealing a tooth-lined bottomless pit. Eternal pain awaits any who fall within. Now, I don't have a beast to eat, so what I'm going to do is pour all the rest of my bag of guts into the blender and then drink it. I know. Okay. So we've got some brains, some spines, a mouth. 
teeth, some hearts, lots of hearts. Yep. Oh God. Let me find the lid and I'll show you the, the disgustingness within. Okay, you see all the teeth and stuff? You see it? Yeah, okay. Oh God, I don't want to do this. on it. It's gloopy. Ew. I swallowed one bit. That's that's all I'm doing. I don't want to be an ogre butcher. 